An incredible story about a girl who's going above and beyond to make life easier for others. Hi, I'm Jade, and I'm campaigning for sign language to be taught as part of the national curriculum. We fostered my brother Christian from five weeks old. Christian was stillborn. He didn't take his first breath for 24 minutes. And because of that, he now is visually impaired. He has cerebral palsy, sensory processing disorder, and global development delay. The doctors told us that Christian would never be able to communicate. I knew there was such a sweet child in there who just wanted to let his personality shine. I just seen that signing can help nonverbal children. So I went out and learned BSL and a Makaton. I started signing with him when he was a year old. He didn't respond to it at all. He just smiled and that was it. My family were saying, Jade, I don't think he's going to do it. But I didn't stop. She must have done it for about 18 months and he never even attempted to do anything back. And then he was two and a half when he eventually just shocked us all. Breakfast is finished. Can you sign finished? It's just a day that we'll never forget. It was a massive breakthrough. It came from nowhere. Since then, he's just not stopped. It's also helped him to learn to speak. Christian absolutely loves any kind of music. So I thought if I could pair the songs with signs, then he's going to learn so many signs without even knowing it. Hi. Sign Along With Us is a social media account Hi. to try and teach people out there how to sign in a fun way. Me and Christian upload us signing along to a song once a week. Someone You Loved is one of Christian's favourite songs and he loves signing along to it. And the Lewis Capaldi retweeted it on Twitter and it was absolutely amazing. When I told Christian about it, I don't think he understood, but because we was all super excited, he was as well. <laughs> so we've now got over 100,000 followers on Facebook, and we never, ever expected that when we first started. We started a new petition to get sign-in taught in all schools as part of the curriculum, and we want to get it taken to Parliament to be debated. Just because people have disabilities and they can't communicate verbally it doesn't mean they shouldn't be able to communicate. Thank you, Russell, for having us on the show and for getting sign language out there. Yeah. Yeah. What an amazing human being.